It is a rich and varied land, molded by the handiwork of nature. Mountains rise high in the east over a valley that gently ripples toward an immense plateau. It is like nowhere else in the world. Today, the Heartland series explores the forces that have shaped where we live and how we live in East Tennessee. What we're standing on here was once a sea beach. Here's a piece of the rock that forms this mountain made of sand grains, lithified and hardened, forced upward. Sandstone is tough and abrasive. It grooves the steel in my knife blade, showing you how tough and resistant that material is. The valley rocks, in contrast, are softer, more readily eroded, weathered limestones and shales. A simple laboratory experiment reveals how the forces of erosion have carved the landscape we see today. In this beaker, we have a piece of limestone from the Tennessee Valley. Over here in the other beaker, we have a piece of sandstone from the top of Chilhowee Mountain. Now, we're going to use some laboratory acid here, but in nature, acids occur from acid rain, from decaying vegetation, weathering of sulfide minerals in the rocks. This attack, of course, is much faster here in the laboratory, but this goes on in nature at a slower rate. This demonstrates how the limestones of the valley are eroded down, worn down in the lowlands, and tough, resistant sandstone, the acid impervious materials are left standing behind in high relief. The Cumberland Plateau is also capped by erosion-resistant sandstone. It looms before a limestone valley that has been lowered by the diligent force of water. One thing erosion does is expose to us minerals that were once buried. Mining and quarrying. Resources from the earth have been long been important and still are very important in the history of East Tennessee. They found the iron ore early, began manufacturing here early. They also put water wheels on the streams that were flowing rapidly down the sides of the ridges and the mountains, began to grind grain. East Tennesseans were isolated by the imposing physical boundaries around them the peaks of the Smokies to the east, the huge bluffs of the Cumberland Plateau to the west kept them hemmed in. Separated from the rest of the state, East Tennesseans developed their own way of doing things. Industry was established early and flourished. The flow of ideas, trade goods, and people came from the northeast, along the ridges and down the rivers of the valley. If you imagine the continents colliding, think of the world map, push Africa and Europe against North America, South America, the compression will be dominantly one directed in a northeast-southwest direction. We see that now in the linearity of the ridges and the valleys that run from northeast to southwest. We are products and are influenced and imprinted by the environments in which we grow and live. 